I hope you've got a new strategy for reaching the library crowd. Those banshee protesters can't stop screaming about the quiet library proposal we rolled out. They're calling it banshee-phobic. Ugh, oh, what a mistake. Werewolf candidates usually only get about 21% of the banshee vote. We'll be lucky if we get 1% after I targeted the bookworms. Let's not give up hope, Ramon. Hope? I don't need hope. All I need to know is how much this mistake cost us. Can your statistics tell me that? Or do I have to wait until election day to find out? I pulled the banshees in Nosferatu dorm just this morning. Since we're all randomly assigned to dorms, this sample will give us a good idea about how banshees on campus are feeling. And it looks like about 17% of them are supporting you right now. Ah, uh, I knew it! Is that a real drop in support or is it just sampling error? In general, we expect a 21% banshee vote for a werewolf candidate. We have a sample size of 87, which puts the extreme 5% of the tails here. So, a sample of 17% is definitely within the expected values. I'm confused. Does that mean I actually have 21% of the Banshee vote? It means we can't reject the hypothesis that you'll get 21% of their vote. 17% is not an unexpected sample value when 21% of the actual Banshee population is voting for you. So, we shouldn't panic. Well, I would panic if our sample was down here. Yeah, in that case I'd be freaking out too. Fortunately, statistics can help us see that a sample value like ours is not something to worry about. I can see that. So now, Madam Campaign Manager, tell me this. How are we going to get those students in the library to vote for me since the quiet hours didn't cut it? <laughs>